Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing one of my favourite things. Yes, I know, I'm weird. We're going to be drawing genetic crosses and we're going to be using Punnett squares to draw them in. Before we start with our genetic crosses, we need to just recap some terms. So gene is a piece of DNA that controls characteristic. For example, you can have the gene for hair colour or eye colour. Alleles are different versions of the same gene. So if the gene is for eye colour, you can have a blue eye colour allele, or a brown eye colour allele, or a green eye colour allele. Homozygous means you have two alleles the same. Heterozygous means you have different alleles. Dominant means you only need one allele for that characteristic to be expressed. And recessive means you need both alleles, both alleles the same for that characteristic to be expressed. Huntington's disease is a dominant disease, so the gene of Huntington's I'm going to say is a capital H. So the mother, the mother's phenotype is going to be normal, which means her genotype is going to be lowercase, lowercase h, which means her gametes are going to be h, h. The paternal phenotype, he is going to be affected by Huntington's which means he is going to be capital H, lowercase h. His gametes will then be capital H, lowercase h. We can then take the gametes and put them into our genetic cross. I'm just going to do it in different colours to help um, show you where things go. So the mother, her gametes were lowercase h, lowercase h, whereas the paternal gametes, uppercase h, lowercase h, doesn't matter which one you fill in first, going down lowercase h, lowercase h, lowercase h, lowercase h. And then the paternal gametes, uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, lowercase. Now because Huntington's is dominant, you only need one gene to become affected, so that individual will be affected. That baby will be affected, and that one will be normal that one will be normal. So if you have one parent who is homozygous for Huntington's disease, you have a 50% chance of getting the disease yourself. Baby hands are cute as a button. I just want you to take a second to look at this picture and to work out what is slightly different about it. One, two, three, four, five, Six. This baby has an extra finger. This baby has what is called polydactyly and it is a dominant gene. It's a mutation that comes up quite frequently in movies. It was in The Princess Bride and it was in Gattaca because it provides some quite interesting characteristics. You can play piano a lot better if you have more fingers. So for this example, I'm going to say that the mother has polydactyly and the father has the normal expected number of fingers and toes. So the gene I'm going to use for polydactyly is a capital P. So the maternal genotype is going to be capital P, lowercase p. So her gametes are going to be one capital P and one lowercase p. The paternal genotype are going to be both lowercase p's and the gametes are also going to be lowercase p's. So we can draw our cross and put our maternal gametes in here, our capital P and our lowercase p. Paternal gametes, lowercase p, lowercase p. Now maternal, go we feel down, so capital P down, capital P down, lowercase p, lowercase p. Paternal, we're now going to pull across, lowercase p, lowercase p, lowercase p, lowercase p. Now because it's a dominant um, disease we only need one copy of the gene to have polydactyly. So this baby will have polydactyly. This baby will have polydactyly. This baby will be normal. And this baby will be normal. So there is a 50% chance in this circumstance that the baby will have the same disease or characteristic as the parent polydactyly. 
if I change this ever so slightly so that the mother is homozygous dominant for that, that is two capital P's, her gametes will now be capital P's. The father is still homozygous recessive, so those are lowercase p's. I know p's aren't the most useful letters to use for this, but sometimes they just do that, so you just have to go with it. If you get to pick the letter, pick a better letter than p. Now we can fill in our cross, so we have uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, lowercase, uppercase p, uppercase p, the maternal gametes, maternal gametes, uppercase p, paternal gametes, the lowercase p's. And because this is a dominant disease, we only need one dominant gene, one uppercase p per um, baby or per person for it to be um, expressed. So in this circumstance, 100% of the babies will have polydactyly. Cystic fibrosis is a recessive gene. So for the dominant gene, I'm going to use R, and for the recessive gene, I'm going to use lowercase r. In this circumstance, both the mother and the father are going to be carriers. Which means they have a gene for it, but they're not affected by it. So the maternal genotype is going to be RR. She has the gene for cystic fibrosis, but because she has a dominant normal gene, that's the one that's being expressed. Her gametes are going to be capital R, lowercase r. The paternal phenotype is going to be the same because he is also a carrier. Now we can draw our Punnett square and put in our gametes. So our maternal gametes are capital R, lowercase r, and our paternal gametes are capital R and lowercase r. Starting to fill these in, the maternal gametes going down like this, the paternal gametes going across like this. We have capital R capital R, lowercase r, lowercase r. Filling in the paternal gametes across now, uppercase r, uppercase r, lowercase r, lowercase r. So now we can start to look at the genotypes of these people. Some people, a baby born with two uppercase r's, two dominant normal genes, is going to be normal. Someone with a dominant and a recessive gene like both the parents is going to be a carrier and someone with two lowercase genes is going to be a sufferer. So two carriers have a 25% chance of having a baby who has cystic fibrosis. We can change that now so only one of them is a carrier. So a carrier is going to have a normal gene and a recessive disease gene. The normal um, phenotype, the normal genotype is going to be uppercase, uppercase. So moving our gametes over, we have um, normal gene, disease gene, normal gene, normal gene, filling in our Punnett square, R, 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 R. I feel the need to make a pirate joke, but it's not quite coming to me. Right, so now we have um, our babies here. These two babies here are both normal. And then these two babies over here are both carriers, but there are no disease babies here. 